Hello everyone, and today in honor of Pokemon Legends Arceus, we will be making a February bullet journal spread using fairy Pokemon. I'm starting off with just a light sketch here. You can see on my blackout journal, I did is I made my own liner and I printed it out. Then I just transferred it to the page. It's very easy. So you can always use that as a technique to put whatever art you want in your bullet journal because it's always nice to have some training wheels. So let's go ahead and get started. Really just love how thick the paint is in these Acrylograph pens, but they can be a little bit of a hassle to get going if you are lazy like me and don't clean your nibs when you're done with them. You may have a hard time as I'm having right now. But once they're going, they are really something else. Just have a great color, but you can always do this with, say, Moonlight Jelly Roll pens, or there's a lot of cheaper pens that are available on Amazon that have the same sort of really opaque color that works well on black paper. So definitely check that out if you haven't tried a black journal yet. It's really fun. I do Neapolitan though because I just, I get tired of one paper type all the time, so I switch between the craft paper, the blackout journal, and just the standard white page. And to go with our Valentine theme, we gave Gardevoir a cute red lacy valentine with giant ribbons coming off of it. This is just our first pass. We'll come back and add some more details, but I really, really wanted to add this washi tape. I love washi tape. It's my first time using these pink ones for Valentine's Day, and I cannot wait to put them on. So I'm just going to stick them on real quick, and then we can continue. Now we are doing Ryombi. Uh, please ignore my hair in this shot. I am still figuring out these camera angles, but I promise by the next video I will have it figured out. Now we are using the shiny coloration just because the pink goes better with our Valentine's theme than the yellow did. I had so much fun doing the line art for all these different fairy Pokemon. I really love how this one came out. I've never drawn, I don't think I've ever drawn a bug Pokemon before. So this is my first one and I really like how it came out. And now in this corner, we are going to be doing Mega Audino. I've never actually had a chance to play with this Pokemon, but I saw it on the list of fairy Pokemon and I just thought it was so cute. So she gets a spot in our fairy themed journal. Now that we have that dried up a bit, I have this very, very cute bumblebee washi tape that I never get to use. So I'm going to just put that right down here, very on theme. Now for our measurements page, we are going to be doing this fitness wiggly tuff that I drew. I always like to keep track of my measurements. It's a little obsessive, so I wouldn't recommend it. I did give him sweatbands and little dumbbells because he is a fitness buff. So now we can move on to our gratitude spread. And for this page, I use Whimsicott. Again, I did use the shiny variation just because the colors went better with our theme. It's always good to kind of be consistent with your color themes uh, throughout the month, but there's no harm in doing every page as a different page as well. But personally, I like a little bit of consistency. a couple more details of course sparkles who doesn't love little hand-drawn sparkles Just 
add a little bit of hatching here just to make the scarf stand out a little bit more. And we'll color in with really tough stem bells. All right, and now we are ready for Sylveon on our weekly spread. You can see the line art there over on the left. I had a lot of fun drawing Sylveon. Evolutions are my absolute favorite. I know they're everybody's favorite. Guess I'm basic, but I just love every single Evolution. So any chance I get to put one in my spread, I'm gonna take it. You'll probably see all of them throughout the course of the year, but Sylveon is the first one making it in. There she is, ready to go. So now for our last two pages, we are going to do Cleffa for the weekly. Now you can see here, I didn't do the sketch yet, so this is how I do it. I do a little washi tape on and I just trace the line art. The back of the page is covered in graphite pencil, so we just have a nice little transfer there. It's pretty hard to see on the blackout journals. If you're using a normal white journal, it's a lot more effective. I just need a little bit of line art to keep me on track as I mostly freehand it based on the sketch I have up there in the corner. Now this is Cleffa and she is carrying a love ball. Over here we are drawing Snubble. Snubble doesn't get enough love. I think Snubble is one of the very first fairy Pokemon. I know that when Gen 2 came out there were no fairy Pokemon, but I think they went back and reclassed it. Who doesn't love an adorable underbite? And of course, because this page is where I'm tracking my meals, I am going to give her a little chef's hat and a spoon. And then we are just gonna zip through all of the little details that I will be adding to make this into my monthly bullet journal. I'm going to slow it down here to show you one of my favorite tools. These are all purpose labels from Target. I think they're like a buck fifty for this whole pack. I love using them to make my own stickers. I write something on the sticker and then using a exacto knife I cut it into the shape of a word bubble and now I can make my little drawings say whatever I want. In this case Wigglytuff is saying be Wigglytuff, get wiggly buff. And stickers, I love stickers, who doesn't love stickers? Plus washi tape everywhere. Really my favorite thing to do is add all the stickers and washi tape. And the big reveal. So here is our front page. You see February there with a metallic acrylograph pen. And then we go down to Gardevoir with all her little details. She just looks so cute. She's blushing because she got a Valentine. Yes, it slaps. I try to keep that theme of the February writing throughout the bullet journal so you, you'll see it mirrored in different parts here is my monthly calendar. I just kind of cross off the days as I go. I add little symbols to track things. I have my future log here in lace border that kind of matches the Valentine that Ryombi is holding. And of course that bee washi tape that I love so much. And then up here, you'll see the February on top of the calendar matches the one on the front page. 
and of course the little stickers that I put throughout all the spreads up here with my goals and then my month at a glance where I just track major events that happen like you know parties or spending time with my family uh, just because I like to be able to see what days those happened at a glance. And then we turn the page over to our wiggly tough measurements. Now, off camera, I did something terrible. I colored in Wiggly Tuff's eyes, and now he kind of looks like a murderous Furby. Or maybe he is just so pumped up on going to the gym. I don't know, it kind of scares me. I have to look at this every day when I track my measurements, but it'll be okay. Just keep remembering, be Wiggly Tuff, get Wiggly Buff. Our gratitude page, I really love how the colors on this turned out. We have Whimsicott down here with some rainbow washi stickers, uh, holding a cute little Valentine's lollipop. And then we went ahead and numbered everything out so we can write one thing we're grateful for every day. I actually add a quote in here. Um, haven't gotten around to finding the right quote that goes with Whimsicott, but if I don't find a quote, it's still very cute. Now on to our weekly spread with Sylveon. I really like how she overlaps with the box. Um, you can see the February here matches the one on the front page. I did do a little bit of detail work trying to fix up her eyes, but it just looks like she's got smudged eyeliner, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. It still looks good enough. And then I did just use these washi dates because I'm lazy and I don't want to write out every single day. So they come in handy for me. Can see I can flip the page and Sylveon still peeks through there as well as my daily goal trackers. This page I will probably put another giant quote but nothing is speaking to me yet. Sometimes I don't add the quotes until I finish the week because I never really know what kind of week it's going to be. Moving to the back we have Cleffa here very cute with our weekly review. I'll put one week above one week below. I did add in some highlights for her eyes just to make them pop. And then down here, I just love this sort of rainbow holographic washi. The video is not really doing it justice, it's just so sparkly. And then up here we have Snubble again with our meal plan, our grocery list, as well as for week one and week two are, I like to just kind of plan out what I'm going to cook each day. I usually don't stick to it, but it gives me kind of a rough idea of what ingredients I have. And then down here, I track my food diary. And yeah, that's about it. Next month, I will be doing a grass Pokemon theme. So please comment below what your favorite grass Pokemon is, and I will make sure to feature them in next week's journal. Whoever gets the most comments will be on the cover page. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out. Don't look at that scary wiggly cup and have a fantastic day.